Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Again, we want to thank everybody for your support over on Patreon. Exclusive videos going up usually several times each week. Indeed, and we appreciate your support so much. And if we have done things that help add to your life, this is a good way to help us. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, let's start over here. Now, BBC giving coverage of an event that happened in Rafa, they say, which is southern uh, Gaza Strip, by the way. An explosion killed people, uh, repeats that Hamas, well, you know, this is what the uh, Israeli government has said, that they conducted strikes at a place that Hamas was meeting, quote unquote. Turns out it was an area where there was just a lot of refugees trying to escape from, you know, death and destruction. And it was another massacre. There's been so many massacres going on constantly. You know, I think this is part of the big reveal. And still, um, because of people's, some people's religious beliefs, they, they won't call things for what they are but there is just horrible atrocities being committed by israel uh in in mass and it's been obviously ongoing now since the beginning of this many people now are very very aware of the terms false flags and uh you know we would call them fake banner events it's just a reality we understand these things happen and, you know, maybe history witnessed one of the greatest, biggest ones ever that introduced this whole retribution, which has led to an area that had two million people congested into a tiny little strip of pretty barren land for the most part to be constantly bombarded into almost oblivion as I do not think the numbers can be accurate when we're talking uh, tens of thousands of casualties. It has to be at least 10 times that if you look at what, you know, it seems has been going on there. So you have another incident now where there was an incident between Egypt and Israel in Rafa. Uh, as you know, this is close to the border there, right on the border there checking into what happened egyptian soldiers uh, according to hebrew channel 14 opened fire on israeli soldiers at the crossing without injuries but now they are saying that four egyptian soldiers died and they claimed it was israel that opened fired on them uh, this could be the the th you know, the match that lights the fuse, that lights everything going off. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. I think it's just really horrible all the way around because I know the people of Israel, the people of, of any country are not are not advocating for this. They're not wanting this. They're doing what they can to, to not support it. And it, it's just sad. So one tragedy is after another, after another, and... There is no resolution going on here in any way, shape, or form. It's just piling death and murder upon death and murder. So Egypt calls on Security Council to intervene immediately after the Rafah massacre, uh, denounces the intentional targeting of displaced people's shelters by Israeli forces. Uh, again, you know, Netanyahu, uh, war criminal, you know, at ICC, we, many of you guys are very familiar with that. Um, and again, even uh, some countries have said if he stepped foot there, they would arrest him immediately. The average person, I believe, around the world, the average person uh, typically wants peace. And it doesn't matter what country you're talking about. The control system really puts fans the fires of hate so they they could hide within different groupings of people and and claim things like they're being targeted due to uh, religion and ethnicity, uh, you know, a, a nationality. They hide within them, but they don't believe in anything but making themselves more profitable, rich and more powerful. It's it's right, and that's that's all they want, and they don't <clears throat> they they cause so much harm 
on their endeavor to have profits and and have things <clears throat> and have power. I I don't I don't understand it. I can't connect with it. It's not easy for me to connect to. I mean, I have when I I channeled the Anunnaki and I heard what they had to say and then I repeated what they had to say just so other people can know what we are dealing with. And when we're dealing at the human level, I mean, they're totally taken over. It's like they are doing exactly what these overlords want them to do step by step, you know, even lockstep in many cases. It's it's tragic. Yeah, it's very... You have to walk through um, minefields. I mean, and there's minefields of information and slash disinformation. There's minefields in every single religion uh, and in the religious text, which have been altered consistently to maintain a level of uh, control over the population. You have people like here, the Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kalas, uh, declaring NATO's going to fight Russia until it's totally defeated. Ukraine has to win the war, and Russia must understand they lost. This is our plan A, B, and C. Well, you know, the <laughs> you're talking billions dead, probably, in all-out warfare like the world hasn't seen in modern times. You know, you might look at somebody and not see the darkness that's dwelling in them, but this is a bottomless pit of darkness. And it's not just the Estonian prime minister, because she has to know what's going to happen to her people if this moves forward like that, because they will be steamrolled so fast, it'll be over in the blink of an eye. You, you would think so, right? I mean, she's got to know that she's being set up. Yeah, but the thing is, she's bought into it. You know, she she has done this for personal profit. And there's so much out there that you have to navigate. Talking about minefields, do you know Tropicana's putting these little guys in their juices? Yeah, be very careful of what you give uh, to your kids and drink yourself. Always look at the ingredient labels because they're changing rapidly. They are changing rapidly. What was good and okay, you know, just a little while ago might not be this time. Every time you go to the store, you got to look. And we pretty much do every time, but we also limit the amount of things that we buy that have more than one ingredient. That's key. You don't want to be eating a lot of processed food. It gives them a lot of chances to put things in it. It does, and I think we're just so incredibly lucky that Mike is a good cook. He can take anything, and he can make something different out of, you know, the the sauces, the cheese sauces. I mean, everything we get is, like, whole, and then we know what's mixed in it ourselves. And, oh, the spaghetti sauces, the pizza sauces, I don't know. We might just have to open a, open a store or something. But, gosh, it's really good, and then we know what's in it. So, right now, we're working on growing our own tomatoes and... I told him, I says, maybe, maybe we can sell sauces because it's good. It's good, guys. Yeah, she was asking me, why you got so many tomatoes? Why'd you pick up more? Well, because <laughs> we're going to can them, you know, because again, this is the period we're going into. And we have um, cases of mason jars that I haven't even, you know, opened up yet that we'll be utilizing. And, you know, again, really read the labels. There's so much toxicity out there and brands that you trusted and were trustworthy get bought out by these corporations and then they end up putting stuff in there that's not going to help your immune system. Uh, yeah, in the future, I'm not eating any of these uh, because, again, it, it's going to cause an inflammatory response in many, many people. Just that alone, you don't want to. And yeah, this is, this is, it's so, it's so obvious what they're doing. Again, just, just look at the ultimate outcome of all the plans that have been put into effect and, and infertility through the roof. Population decline is very, very evident. Uh, the quality of life and life expectancy are falling off a cliff and they're sticking bugs everywhere. They're sticking bugs everywhere. 
they're chemically injecting watermelons yeah i mean again you know uh, don't get seedless because seedless is always going to be something that's been modified and you know they inject fish with stuff they inject fruit with stuff they inject meat with stuff you know and you know a lot of these colors are going back to bugs they're going they're being added to make things look more colorful but it's going to also cause more immune system dysfunction and they'll say well we we've tested it and etc cetera, etc cetera, and it doesn't you know it's within safety safety limits but when most of the stuff you're taking in is is like that it's the accumulation that builds up and overwhelms the immune system and then people are getting sick and you know uh, we were talking to one family member and i don't think i've had a cold in somewhere between 20 and 30 years uh, no colds no i mean there's e energy sensitivities i mean i feel it when the sun does its thing um and also we are definitely sensitive to frequencies when we go out and we're around people and the 5g etc cetera, etc cetera. oh we feel it it feels so good to get back home and get away from it afterwards but as far as that immune system is boiling over thing that that inflammatory response we don't really get that we we don't get sneezing sn snuffling we don't get runny eyes we don't get hay fever we don't get it's again it's because you need to just simply realize you got to be detoxing detox all the time don't take in all the processed foods just eliminating the processed foods and again if your diet was made up of organic um, organic proteins that did not have hormones antibiotics etc 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 in them and fresh produce that is organic and and not modified in any way shape or form no pesticides that's what we're talking about eating basic foods like an apple like a salad made you know again completely organically also where you know who's handling it is important too because when people have done things that you haven't done you could still pick up the energy I'll never forget my my sister was was put into a hospital because of a, a chef where you know she went to a restaurant she had gone to a lot and, um, and her immune system's not good because she's a nurse and that sounds kind of crazy right and I mean for some people but no I mean a lot of nurses and doctors are some of the most unhealthy people I've ever met really and and, and that's that's because they're in the system so much that if they get anything happening they automatically grab for whatever it is on the shelf you know that's going to cause more more issues over time but you know again her immune system wasn't functioning well in the first place because of so much antibiotic use over the years and um it was a coli and you know it was life-threatening and she was in there for like a week and a half uh really it was pretty bad but they are putting bugs in everything you should be wondering why are they putting bugs everywhere and we've discovered the answer we've discovered the answer why are they putting bugs in everything why and 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 we're looking around and we're thinking and we're seeing kind of weird stuff going on you know i don't know it's just like and you, you think about the lizards and you think well you know they have that funny like throat thing and maybe maybe the controllers simply can't help it they just they need the bugs they need the bugs so a little projecting going on and for them it's okay it's okay so they're just you know they can't help it guys i guess yeah so we have exclusive video from <laughs> albert borla's home of him enjoying a, a an evening meal with there you go there we go oh it's so oh, good it's so yeah yeah you eat the bugs they like them why not you indeed Nah, no bugs for us no bugs for for you guys too if you want to stay healthy well you know let's not forget though i mean bugs have this little thing inside of them that can create 
a reaction, an allergic reaction, and that's their safety mechanism. I mean, every creature has some kind of a safety mechanism inside of it, and, and most of the bugs that we're dealing with in our food have that. And over time, it's just, it's not going to be good. As always, guys, much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste. Namaste.